Wow, this example looks pretty hard, Mr. Song. What do you think? Whew, it's a doozy. All right, but I think we can uh, do one thing at a time and hopefully we'll get to the answer. Again, this is solved, so we want to have x equals, we want to isolate x, but I see a lot of fractions here. And thirds. And thirds. But let's get rid of fractions first. Is that okay? That's perfect. I think that right. try to clean up one thing at a time and eventually you can turn a difficult looking problem into something easier. So I see that uh, the denominators are three, nine, and nine. And if I multiply both sides by nine, I can get rid of all the fractions. Perfect. Okay. Some students choose 27, which is a less efficient choice. It will still work, but your numbers will be quite large. As long as you do the same thing to both sides, but try to go for the lowest common denominator. And nine, as Mr. Song has pointed out, is the best choice here. So multiplying by nine, multiplying by nine, multiplying by nine, and here. Now we can see, so these nines will cancel out 9 over 9. Easy. 9 over 9 is 1. Here, 9 over 3 is 3. Excellent. That's much nicer already. Yep. So 15, bracket x plus 2, plus 4 times x root 50 minus 81 is equal to 10 root 8. Okay, so we cleaned up the fractions. What's still kind of messy about this? The, um, the thirds. So should we simplify the thirds before we move on? Will we get the same answer both ways? Yes. Then it's a personal choice. I'll let you decide that one. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and simplify the thirds. The next line. So 50 is 25 times 2, so 5 root 2. Don't forget your x. Oh, I see. You put it like that. Oh, cool. Yeah. So 81 is equal to 2. Um, square root of 8 is 2 root 2, and 10 is already out there. So 20 root 2 plus 5. Good. So your numbers and thirds, well, thirds are numbers too, your rational and irrational coefficients there, you combine them together in front of the variable. Yeah, I don't think it matters, 5x root 2 or 5 root 2x. The only thing is, um, I think, if you, especially if you have bad handwriting, writing it this way might be better because sometimes you guys write, and then I don't know if x is supposed to be go under the square root or not, and if it's not clear, then you're wrong. Good, yeah. All right. So now I'm going to distribute 15x plus 30 plus 5 times 4 is 20 minus 4 times 80, 81 is equal to 20 root 2x. Ooh, I see something on both sides. Ooh, I do too. Here. Okay, so if it's on both sides, what can we do with it? Both so sides of the equal sign. So we can subtract both sides uh, by 20 root 2x, and these both of these will disappear. Okay. Right? So at the same time, on the left-hand side, we're left with 15x, then there's 30, and minus 324. So let's, let's collect the numbers together. There's only 15 x's. And then subtract. Oh, sure. Oh, OK. Um, I was, no, I'm just going to do it. Sorry. So we can just do 30 minus 324. Mm -hmm. What was that? 192. 96. 2. 96, sorry. Is equal to? 0 now, because 20 root 2 x on both sides, we subtracted it, so we just have 0 on the right. The root 2s are now gone, and our next line is to solve this nice grade 6 equation. We turn that big mess into something we recognize, which is the whole goal. Well, the whole goal is isolating x, that's right. So I added both sides by 296, and now I'm going to divide both sides by 15. Oh, that's, we're wrong, aren't we? What 324. Minus 324, 296. Oh, no, we're right. Oh, it's, it, uh, it's gotta be a four. 294. Because of the zero, yeah. yeah. 294, not 296. Whoops. 
Embarrassing. Yeah, well, we did that on purpose, right? Yeah. Just to show sure. that some, sometimes arithmetic's tough. Yeah. That's the hardest part sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> 294. Over 15. Okay, that'll All reduce because right. they're both divisible by 3. All right. So if you divide this by 3, you get 98. 9, 8 over, that's 5. 5. Excellent. There you go. So can we review the steps quick? Let's scroll up. What's the very first thing that we did? We multiply by the least common multiple of the denominators and clear out the fractions. Super. And then? And then I chose to simplify the thirds, but you could have also distributed the 15 and the 4. And Both will get you to the same place. At some right. point, you'll have to simplify those thirds, but if you do it as a second step or the third step and reverse those, it doesn't matter. Good? And then right. we had this nice, easier grade 6 equation, which we could bang out pretty yeah. easily. Collecting our terms and I7x and simplifying the answer at the end. Be careful how you subtract. Right. That was the lesson of the day. 